So, how do you measure flow rate? Uh, it is very difficult to measure, like horsepower. There is no direct, easy way to measure flow rate. I mean, you can, of course, collect you know the amount of water coming from a water tap you can measure it in collect it in a gallon bucket and you can see how much time it takes to fill that one gallon bucket and then you can just find out gallon per minute how many minutes it takes to fill that so that way you can calculate it however in real world uh, you need flow is in a closed system so fluid is not coming out from a water tap so the you know if you think about a excavator you know anything any hydraulic system they're closely the water it doesn't just go out and you can measure the, so it's not a practical way to measure flow rate so how do you measure it now as you know that the measuring pressure is easy you can buy a pressure guess for two bucks and you can set up anywhere on this line let's say this is a fluid field pressurized line you can set up pressure gauge anywhere and measure the pressure at that point remember that garden hose example if you squeeze the garden hose the water shoots further so if you decrease the size here so the velocity increases velocity increases means the the energy increases now velocity just just increase it just don't is it, it it doesn't happen just by chance so you know that the total energy is constant the Bernoulli's law says the energy at E1 is same as this energy at E2 so when you have more velocity the pressure goes down so downstream pressure at this point will be less than the upstream pressure at point one now, if we have any standard orifice, orifice looks like this. This is just a plate. The, the meaning of orifice, non-fancy word, would be just a hole. So, like that. So, you, if, you, you can have a, just a plate, place it here, and you can calibrate it. The way you can calibrate it, we can send maybe 1,000 gallon per minute this way and see how much pressure drop we see here. And then... 990 900 so we can send different types of standard flow and observe the pressure and then calibrate this flow meter so if you want to look at that equation that looks like this let's say in the u.s system in gallon per minute the equation is 38.1 c is the orifice coefficient or orifice uh, constant is the coefficient of the orifice which is calibrated using a standard flow rate and then the area of the hole uh, this hole if you use that in inches square and then is square root of pressure that should be in psi in the u.s system and a specific gravity does not have any unit so you can use this equation to calculate the flow all you need is to measure the pressure difference because you know the area that's in a standard orifice typically in any orifice it's written here the orifice coefficient and area or diameter they're all given information on the orifice so all you need to do is just set up two pressure gauges before and after the orifice and calculate the flow rate